It's the little details like that slate work behind the waterfalls. What do people say that come to your house for the first time? Just what you said. Wow. Wow. And you have this awesome slope. I need a pro. And this I man came. Somebody... Whoa! <laughs> he put the rocks up and he said, so what do you think? And I said, yeah, they're rocks. Okay. And then he plugged it in. Oh my God. You know who I am. Yes, I do. What's your name again? Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and this is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all showcasing how cool people live the aquascape lifestyle. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love it. Even with this guy? Especially with this guy. Right? Especially with this guy. Uh, I loved him for the first year. Every time anything went a little wiggly, I texted him with, help! I heard you're not just a gardener. See that you're a gardener, but I heard you're an artist. Yes, I am. Can I see what you do? Oh, yeah. I love my job. Well, I'm Greg. You are? Carol Wilkes. Some of my work. Oh, little cat. Yes. yes. That's yes. cat yes. Cool. Right there. This. Beautiful. This, wow. This. This. You are talented. That. I do photography as well. That was when my kids were little. They're now in their 50s. <laughs> are you a grandma? I'm a great grandma. Well, you are a cool great grandma. I'm 77. Good for I'm you. I love it. These are my watercolors. These are more pastels. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at the pondless. Holy cow. I love how you have your kitchen table right here and you look out and you hear and see that. I designed it that way. That was a smart lady. I had it curved also so I could see it from the kitchen window. Smart. All along here, you can look out back and then there it is again. Right, and you have this awesome slope. That is like a, wow, look at that frame. What got you interested in doing this? I bought this property in 2005 with this hill in mind. I wanted the hill, nobody wanted the hill. And he put the rocks up and he said, so what do you think? And I said, yeah, they're rocks. And then he plugged it in. <laughs> oh my God. So you were happy as soon as it got turned on. Oh my Lord. Well, look at how this was the only flat spot on the hill that didn't have anything but creepy crawlers on it. What made you decide to go with Scott as a contractor? My granddaughter lives outside of Baltimore and she Googled pondless waterfalls in Boonesboro and up came these landscapes. I was up in Pennsylvania at Heath Nursery that had water features run by an Amish guy. And I thought, I wonder if that would look good. And so I went with the little one and I thought I was going to put it down here. And then I got some other contractors. One said he couldn't put a waterfall on a hill like that. Yeah, no, you can't put a waterfall there. There's a hill. <laughs> I love how he's stacked. You can't really see it. I'll do this. I love how he's done the slate work. It's the little details like that slate work behind the waterfalls. And then, of course, at night, there's a light and it just glows. That's the difference between a certified aquascape contractor and a guy that would just throw a rock in there. Stuff like this. Now, did you start with this or did you add that? I added it. Water loving people always want more water. Look at that, how cute that is. Okay. Oh, wow, at nighttime, it's just so. This is it at dusk. Right? It just glows. This is it at nighttime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is it in the right winter time. It's beautiful, That's 365 beautiful. days out of the wow. year. This is what I see from my back door. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand the maintenance. You are a 77 year old great grandma. What's the maintenance like for the water feature? Every once in a while I'll fill the tub. For the water feature, all you do is add water. That's it. That's awesome. I don't add any of those little extra little things to make it clear, give it a color. Do you put it on a timer or does it run 24-7? Oh, 24-7, 365 days of the year.
the Scout with uh, Pond by B, the B team. So happy with this water feature. I love that we did the rock work in there, the flat stone there, and at the top, the little details. This pondless waterfall, it has the vault all down in here. The pump's housed here and the plumbing's run up hidden in the soil. There's very little maintenance with this water feature, but I love how the twist and turns go. So this water feature has about 5,000 pounds of Pennsylvania boulder, has the Delaware River gravels, very common in this area. A feature like this you could have in your backyard for right around thirteen dollars to $15,000 with LED lights on a timer. It's just a great addition. As a designer, I was thrilled to see this slope. Just happy with how this turned out. I'm almost even more thrilled with how the customer appreciates this water feature, utilizes it. Her being an artist as well, that means a lot to me that I met her goals and, and she can sit here and enjoy this thing. A really cool pond list for 13 to 15 grand. You can have this in your backyard. How awesome is that? So guess what she's going to do for me? What's that? I'm going to do a free portrait of this dog. Awesome. And guess who I'm giving it to? Carla for her birthday. When you guys see this vlog, this picture right here of Willow, our new puppy, this picture will be a painting and that will be her 40th birthday gift. Look at this beautiful artwork. There's that 40 year teacher here. I love the double frames. It's just awesome. It's a career for 40 years. I love artists. I didn't really start big time until I retired. I was a cost engineer for Bechtel. And then I worked as a consultant okay. for Price Waterhouse until the home wasn't too bad. And this is my workout room. Good for you. My workout, well, more like every day now. I love it, look, look at that beautiful waterfall. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, that was an early oil painting that I took. I came back from New Zealand and I wanted to paint the mountains. So you spent a lot of time in here, huh? Well, until I started doing masks, yes. <laughs> this is, more of my stuff that's in oil but this is the, the detail is just so incredible what i love is meeting people and seeing what their hobbies are it's not just a vlog channel about living the aquascape lifestyle it's how people live and this is an art house if i've ever seen one with about as good of a view as you could possibly get the birds are all taken off out there so where are we headed now so we're now going over the potomac river i see that we're headed into shepherdstown west virginia there's the bavarian Inn. Is that famous? Famous Bavarian Inn and then Shepherd's College right here. Now we're in West Virginia. One vlog, two states. We're gonna see a pondless, right? So we're gonna go see a pondless waterfall. Yeah. Nice drive. And how long did you put this in? A year. Okay, so it's newer, but she had a couple existing water features. Yes, she did. All right, let's check it out. You are a gardener. I'm the pond guy, Greg Witzak, and you are? I'm Judy Jones. And Judy Jones? This is Scott, the third contractor you hired? Yes. It, was it right on the third time? It was finally right on the third <laughs> time. And he was such a delight, and his people were so good. Thank you. I, I would recommend him anytime. What happened with the other contractors that you hired, the two other contractors that didn't build what you wanted? The first contractor put it, the pond facing that way. Away from your viewing area. And it had a big, deep basin. Uh-huh. And then it just wasn't working right, and I t we tried to fix it. Then I had some other people come in, and they rebuilt it, and it started leaking the next year. And then finally I said, no, I need a pro. And this I man came. who knows what the heck he's doing. <laughs> You're happy with it in the third time. Yeah. And how do you enjoy living the aquascape lifestyle? The sound, the bir birds must love this. Oh, you should see the crows. <laughs> I have a frog, tree frog. Awesome. Nice. You can't tell where he is. He's down the there day. somewhere, up here somewhere. I have not been able to enjoy it as much as I would like because of what we're going through right now. And I, But I am starting to have friends come sit here. And do they enjoy it? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. they love it. And for people that don't understand, they've never had an aquascape water feature, how much work is this? I take a broom, here it is, 
and I try to get the little bits of algae uh -huh. out. But other than that, that's all I do. So, and I got to get the silly leaves out, and I'm thinking maybe I will figure out a way to cover part of it. This is dying. Don't you like this? Wisteria, oh yeah. Less maintenance than the weeding of the gardens. Oh, without a doubt. So people that are worried about a water feature's maintenance, if you have lawns and you have- it's set right. Yeah, if you build it correctly. Right. The specifics of this water feature, it's a pondless waterfall. It has a adjustable two to 4,000 gallon per hour pump, one and a half inch plumbing up to a spillway, which is up the tip top. It's about 10 to 12 feet long, 5,000 pounds of Pennsylvania boulders. There might be maybe 200 pounds of Delaware River gravel. We use an inch and a quarter river gravel, and then just some accent lighting around that outside edge. This feature again is about seven to nine thousand dollars is what we would install the feature for. Plus ripping out the old feature, which didn't benefit anybody, but you can see we kind of made it a little cool landing area. The landscape's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And this lady does a great job, but I want to tell you something. This lady had two previous contractors in here, and they kept facing the water feature the wrong way. I didn't quite understand it. You see the main seating area in the back? They face the water feature this way, and I thought that was a poor, poor idea. So what we did is we came in and we focused the stream and waterfall, directing the noise and sound all the way back to the seating area. But it's perfect. It's slow moving, the sound is gentle, the wildlife loves it. In combination with her landscape that you're seeing here, birds, bees, butterflies, everything. This is things is perfect. It's perfect for the space and it fit the bill for exactly what the homeowner wanted. Look at this entire beautiful garden, but the centerpiece is always water. Water is life. Wherever you put a water feature, it'll attract all of the views, it'll attract all of the energy and the spirit. That's why they had the water feature facing their patio and not away from the patio. And as soon as you walk in, you hear a bubbling rock. These are water loving people. People that love landscaping, people that love water always do multiple. It's why it's never kind of done when you have a water feature. Hey, if you get inspired by this stuff just like I do, please like, comment, and share these videos so more people can start seeing what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. I love my job.